Hello guys and welcome along with me today to one of my most favourite places in the Dorset area. Today we are heading to Brownsea Island. I haven't been there since being a scout I think, or a beaver, whatever it was, multiple years ago. Um, and I cannot wait to go back there today and relive my youth. So guys, you are coming along today and enjoy this experience. It's a beautiful place and I want to highlight it to all of you that watch this video that you need to go visit it if you're ever down in Dorset. So let's get going. So I haven't even arrived. Parking is up to about £10 for the day. It depends on how many hours you stay for. It's about a pound something-ish an hour. But yeah, there's a multi-story there. I'm actually walking down there onto the quay and then we're straight on a boat. Guys, we're waiting amongst all these other millions of people. Custom wants to sit inside, so that's gonna happen, hopefully. But yeah, here we are. So it's literally on the quay, less than a five minute walk. It's literally a couple of minutes. Um, you pay for the fee for the island and for the ferry. Um, the fee for the island is only charged if you're not part of National Trust. So we're going to pay that fee on the island, probably going to get some food at the cafe, and walk around and see what's about. Here we are then. Beautiful. The cafe is beautiful, the views are lush as well. It has got a very exquisite history. It's got a nice little history room here. Beautiful. This one said that is beautiful. It's so well presented down there. Check this out for a view. We are, well, we, that's the path over there, but we've gone off the beaten path and we're going down this little nature reserve -y bit, see if we see anything. So, unfortunately for us, all this part here, fortunately for Kirsten, she doesn't want to walk. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, this bit is all closed off at the moment, which is a shame, so we can't really show you what's there. It's quite cool, actually, but anyway, we're going to go back to up the centre, I think, and go look at all the beaches and stuff around here. In the middle of this beauty, we've got this lovely church we're going to have a little pop-up and have a look at now. It's like a green over here. But yeah, it's very well looked after. It looks pristine, to be fair. Getting here early is good because there's less people. It's busy throughout the day as the boats come through. But um, this place is very tranquil and very beautiful amongst all the people that are here of course but it's it's nice it's really nice hopefully we'll be able to capture some animals later i'm not too sure of that if i'm honest with you but you never know yeah, it's a nice place to bring a picnic and enjoy time it's nice so what i want to say about this place is is amongst all the nature it is so relaxing and so quiet and actually, because you're on an island out away from the mainland and you haven't got the distractions and noise of life, it is just, it's blissful. Very blissful. I'm going to go over here because I think there's a nice view over here. This view here doesn't look like much to you guys because of the lens, but it is tremendous. Absolutely gorgeous. I need to get a zoom lens. I'm not going to get too close because I'm not too sure about that cliff face. I'm going to hold on to this tree, but look at that. Gorgeous water down there, and I can't wait to get down to the beach. Hopefully, we get some sunshine as well that bring out the colours of that water because it is actually quite clear. But this is literally a straight drop off. It's quite mad, but yeah, man, it's fucking lovely. Lovely. So there was some pheasants. You can probably not see them. Two little lumps running around over there. Couldn't get too close to them, obviously, because they're going to run birds, all that sort of thing. But yeah, we've seen pheasants. They're sort of cute. There's more birds over there as well, to be fair. It's a good place if you want to see birds. There's loads of them about. So this is the base of a ripped up tree that they've turned into a little makeshift shelter. It's pretty smart. We have seen some uh, rabbits. We have seen plenty of birds. Um, we've actually s literally just saw some deer droppings as well. We haven't seen any deers yet. I mean, it's probably unlikely, let's be honest, but it probably happened. I don't know what part of the island we're actually on now. I felt like we were back in the middle, but it's quite a, if we're quite a small island, it's quite a, it's quite a wilderness. That looks quite rugged down there. We don't really know where to go. There's a path over there as well. You can sort of just go wherever you want, really. It's pretty, pretty decent. Make your own path. So this island is also very renowned, or renowned, for red squirrels and peacocks. And there's one over here. We're gonna try and get on video without being bit or pooed on or weed on. I've got a fly on the camera right now. <laughs> So yeah, let's see. Oh, there's little baby. Gosh, there's little baby ones. Sorry. 
It's okay. So if you want to camp here, don't know what the rates are, but it would be a vibe. You arrive on the island, they bring all your bags to your tent area. Every camping area gets an eating plot as well. So you've got places to cook and make your food. And this is now on the route down to the beach. But I'm trying to memorise from when I was about, I don't even know how old. 10 years old, less than that. So I'm probably <laughs> probably wrong, I'm probably nowhere near the beach, to be honest. We're just in some woods somewhere, chilling out, but yeah, I think we're there almost, anyway. He just waved at you. There he's enjoying himself. Little bee. Hopefully not injured. Going down to Pottery Pier. It's beautiful through these weird-ass leaves, whatever they're called. Plants, bushes. Oh, Kirsten, that is so steep. Oh, are we going to do it or not? Are we going to do it? Yeah, we're doing it. Sure, we should be regretting that on the way back up. So, yeah, here we are, going down to the beach. So, we went down to the beach the first time, and uh, it was like the worst pace on the island. So, it turns out my memory wasn't very good. So, we're now going out to this little pier thing here to have a little look. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. It is decent. A bit windy now, to be fair, I must admit. But, um, yeah, the weather has not been so sunny today, which is a bit of a shame, but it has kept it reasonably cool. Um, and I think what we'll do at the end is we'll do a mileage count, but I think so far we've probably walked about three miles, haven't we, Kirsten? Who's still miles away up the stairs. <laughs> Such a loser. But, yeah, here we are. Um, in a minute, we'll get there. The pier's actually blocked off, which is useful, but... Um, this is the corner end of the island. Look at these views, look. So here are one of the beaches. It doesn't look too amazing in this light, but it is beautiful down there. And the, it's quite a strong current, I must admit, but it's not too deep going out, so you can walk out quite far with these before it drops off, but yeah, man, it is beautiful. So we're both swingers aren't we? <laughs> Our time is up, we've already been, people have already come. It's quite a popular place for swinging over here, if you couldn't tell. But we are at the end of the island, on the swing. It's creaking quite a bit because of the weight of my belly. But we're going to get off now, aren't we? Karen walking. Yeah. So guys, today cost me £50. Now, that isn't actually the total, but we budgeted £50 for the journey. And that's also including, is it Cosmos? Co Cosmos? Cosmo. Cosmo, which isn't all you can eat at restaurants. So we're doing that afterwards. What a delightful way to put all back on all those calories that we've just burned off walking around today. Um, but what it did actually indeed cost, now this is obviously applying if you're not a member of the National Trust. Um, it cost me £22.50 and that is split up of the ferry, which is £13 there and back, uh, and then £9.50 for the entry fee. Now obviously if you're a member of the National Trust, I'm just, as far as I'm aware, there's no charge at all, so it would just be the £13 to come over on the ferry. That's very reasonable for a great day out. And obviously included within that £50, if you were to choose to use that elsewhere, you can use it in the cafe. You could rent out a kayak for an hour. They've got kayaks down the and down. Or you could rent out a kayak down at the activity centre. There's so much you can do. So £50 or even less than that, it is a great day out for each of you. So there we are. There's where the residents live that do live in. Um, and we are now heading back on the boat, back to land. So what a nice little day it's been. <laughs>